Eight minutes to Cavuto now, and the Arizona Senator John McCain saying that Major League Baseball has a legitimacy problem. You think? Senator McCain making the comments after the commissioners or the commissioners of baseball and the NFL testified on Capitol Hill on steroid use in their respective sports. Here with more from Studio B, the brand new Fox Sports host Max Kellerman. Good to see you. Ah, pleasure to be joining the team. What do you think? It, it, is it that big a deal, or are folks on Capitol Hill just looking for something to yak about? Well, they're always. I mean, it's a, it becomes a political issue. You can get, we're talking about John McCain, talking, yeah. talking sports. Um, but no, this is a serious issue because, and I think as a fan, the question always is, as a fan, don't you feel cheated? The real issue is, what about the players who don't want to use? Those are the guys getting cheated. You know, I mean, that's really the, the moral or ethical issue is it's an unlevel playing field. And I think a lot of who is to blame here, there's a culture in Major League Baseball and in sports. If you talk to coaches, head coaches and managers, if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. But, you know, where do you bet, draw the line between bending and breaking the rules? And these, these rules have been broken, and sure, it's serious. Are they already fixing it, though? Because you look at the numbers of home runs last year, and I could point to a couple of Yankees. I won't, but I could. Uh, are they already fixed? Well, Giambi hit over 40 home runs. He just, his, uh, his batting average went way down. The interesting thing about Barry Bonds is that Brian Kenny and I from Friday Night Fights, uh, yeah. my old partner on Friday Night Fights, we used to talk about this all the time when McGuire and Sosa were hitting all those home runs. Hey, you know, uh, Bonds, who used to be the best player in baseball, is now only one of the best players in baseball. It's a shame his prime didn't coincide with this smaller ballpark, juiced ball, juiced player era. It'd be interesting to see how many home runs he could hit under these new circumstances. Then suddenly, in the last couple years, Barry Bonds' forehead tripled in size. He seemed to quadruple in that size. That was weird, wasn't it? It was weird. And you know, I hear that one of the side effects from human growth hormone, if you look at some fighters in the heavyweight division, some football players and baseball players, um, uh, that's one of the side effects. No. You know? And suddenly, Barry Bonds is hitting 73 home runs. But Gosh. here's the other side of the argument. When people say when Sosa was quirking his bat, because that's the same thing. It's cheating. Looking for a competitive advantage. Who, you know the first player in the history of baseball who they found quirking his bat? Who did you, who you think it might be? Who was the first player? Don't really know, Max. The, the first guy who comes to mind when you say baseball. That's, a, that's my fear, and I'm it, not saying it, that name. It's Babe Ruth. Court. I'm not saying Babe, that name. In, according to Bill James in his, new, in his new historical baseball abstract, Babe Ruth was the first guy to know to his cork his bat. And, and, and according to Bill James, who's this guy, you know, looking on the on-base percentage nowadays, the sabermetrics, he's the grandfather of sabermetric thought. He's the reason the Red Sox are so good. You're getting all heavy now. Yeah, because they hired him. But Bill James says... It, it makes sense that, that Babe Ruth corked his bat because Babe Ruth, his defining characteristic was he wasn't playing the same game as everyone else. He was always testing the limits. So, when, so yes, it's wrong. It's bad to try to get an, an illegal, unfair, competitive advantage against, your, against people you're playing against. At the same time, this is not unprecedented. There should yeah. not be, we should not have to put asterisks next to right. these records because the Babe was the guy, you know, he's the That's first wrong. guy we know who corked. I need a mute button. <laughs> Where do you get those mute buttons and oh, joysticks? They, they Did you bring fun. those with you? On the new show. New show he's getting on Fox Sports. On the new show. Yeah. Yes. Quick, quick. It's going to be a lot. We're going to have, you like the mute button. If you like the mute button <laughs> and you like the round the horn, and I know you do. I, I love it. This show. Not anymore. You're going to love the new show. We got even cooler gadgets, which right. I can't tell you what they are yet. Because you'd cool. have to kill us. Max Kellerman from Fox Sports Net. He'll be joining us from time to time if he gets me Yankee tickets. <laughs> Coming up in a few minutes, Your World with Neil Cavuto. And today, Neil takes a look at anti-President Bush ads from MoveOn.org. Do you know about these? Neil does. He'll tell you coming up. Stick with.